Hello everyone. What you can see on the table is the range link setup uh, just unpacked fresh from the mail. <laughs> uh, thank you Sid for a quick shipment. Uh, by the way Sid sent a uh, old package uh, within one day after receiving my uh, PayPal payment. So this is very fast. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, okay, what we get, what we got in the package. It's the, of course, the transmitter module. Uh, all the package was uh, secured uh, very firmly. It was uh, saved in an air foil, air bubble foil, let's call it. Uh, so this is a transmitter model. Like I said, it's made with the aluminum cover. It's aluminum suit case and uh, on the bottom we can see uh, two socket, custom socket, I don't know how to call them. Uh, one is to be connected to the uh, head tracker and the second one is to be connected to the uh, battery and the PPM signal from the transmitter. Mm, here we can see additional socket, it's probably for uh, the configuring the whole model and to uh, communicate with uh, your personal computer. On the top we have a power switch, we have the binding button and of course the SMA socket for the antenna. Looks very very good and solid. The only thing that may uh, be a little bit uh, kind of a disturbance is lack of any any markings on the case but Let's keep it. I believe that everyone who order such thing knows how to connect it. By the way, uh, there is a full manual available on the RC Groups forum. So, if anyone is interested in uh, the technical specification, can be found on the Sid Huang profile. Second thing is the receiver. Here we have the receiver. Twelve channel, also the SMA socket for the antenna. It's not uh, the uh, it's not a diversity receiver. It's a normal receiver, but it's good enough as far as I heard from the other users. So I believe it's as good as the others long range system receivers. Here we can see a twelve channels pins. Uh, no more. To add nothing to add, it's it's normal. Here we have uh, the description of the pins coming up from the other side. So I believe it's it's done very precisely. There's nothing I could let's say say bad about it. And here we have the antenna. It is the stock antenna, which means it came with uh, the the other. Uh, parts of the package. Uh, it's the normal antenna which is offered by Sid normally. Uh, it's uh, 3 decibels and 433 MHz plus minus 8 MHz and it's 50 ohms. The connector is SMAJ. Pretty flexible normal antenna. Here you can see the connector. And uh, it fits the transmitter just like it should. Remember not to put too much strength to uh, connect the antenna with the transmitter model. You just twist it until you feel a little break and you stop. Nothing else is needed. Pushing it too hard may uh, destroy the SMA socket on a transmitter. I believe it's a bit problematic when you do so. So. The transmitter looks like that. It's it's all black. <laughs> fits to my uh, fits to my Grautner MC10. Also, uh, in the package there is a complete set of wiring. Uh, the receiver antenna is the dipole antenna. Uh, remember to put it vertically on your uh, FPV platform. Both yellow cables, both yellow wires should go vertically and there should be 180 degrees between them. Uh, it's a typical dipole antenna and of course here you can have the uh, SMA uh, connector. 
made very precisely. Nothing bad about it can be said. And here we have the set of cables, set of wires uh, with the special connectors, the one which fits to the bottom of the transmitter. Of the transmitter. Uh, the first, like I said, is to supply the transmitter module with the power from the transmitter battery and the PPM signal. The PPM signal is the blue one. The red one is the positive signal. Uh, is is the positive uh, from your battery. Here you can see that the black one is the ground. And in case of using the additional uh, battery packet, the external one, uh, of course you can you have to use the additional ground wire. Here uh, there is a wire for the head tracker. It's the wire with the white line. Uh, I'm not using the head tracker, so I will just skip it. Uh, to make it clear, what I'm talking about is uh, here you can see the sockets, of course. And uh, the first to your right, I believe, the first to your right, is uh, the one to supply the transmitter module with the signal, PPM signal and the battery power. So it comes like that. Quick. And it's plugged. You cannot put it off. It's secured. Uh, not much strength needed to put it and also to put it out. You have to press a little button, a plastic button to put it out. Everything fits very firmly. It's just, it's just fine. It's just okay. Uh, okay, so that was the part of uh, unpackaging and uh, the first description and the first uh, impression. My impression is very good. Uh, let's skip to the other part. We'll try to connect it to my transmitter. I'll show you. I'm using the Graupner MC12. Pretty old, but still still the good transmitter for me. Uh, I don't need nothing else. I don't need nothing more than 7 channels. I'm not using head trackers, I'm not using any super fireworks available in many transmitters. Just a simple transmitter. Okay? Uh, all we need to do is to get the PPM signal and the power to power up the transmitter module. In this case, you need to check. Uh, where in your transmitter there is a ground and a positive signal and a PPM signal. Ground and positive to supply the transmitter with the power and the PPM to supply it with the required PPM signal. In here we have the transmitter which is uh, PPM in by default, let's say. Uh, in many other transmitters you have to remember that you need to change uh, the, the mode to PPM. Many transmitters, the newer ones, were uh, fitted with uh, PCM, QPCM, uh, let's say, many other <coughs> things that has to be checked before uh, you make the first connection. So uh, remember to connect, to, to, to set up your transmitter with the PPM mode. Okay, here uh, you can see beneath the, the red and the black you can see ground, VCC and uh, mode. These are the descriptions of the things I'm looking for. Uh, the mode is the modulation, so it means it's the signal. VCC is the, let's say, let's call it a plus, a positive from your battery. And uh, GND is the ground, it means the ground of your battery. So just three wires required to connect the transmitter model to my transmitter.